Are you struggling to master U-turns on your motorcycle? Confused about working the clutch, counterbalancing the bike, and using the rear brake? Today, I'm going to break down the best ways to perform U-turns step by step. By the end of this video, you'll have the tools to combine each ingredient for U-turn success. The clutch is the most important tool we have when performing slow or tight U-turns. We control the amount of power to the rear wheel by working the clutch lever in and out of the friction zone. To get this dialed in just right, let's start by walking your bike through the U-turn and feel how much clutch work is needed for each section. So as we walk, we don't want to use the throttle, but we want to cover the front brake just in case. We're just going to engage the friction zone. So I'm slowly letting that clutch out. It's not even 25% out. Now I pull it in. The bike is coasting. I'm going to start the turn. The bike is leaning. And now I engage that clutch to power out. Once we mount the bike, we'll need to add some throttle to this clutch play to keep the bike moving. Finding the right amount of throttle just comes down to practice. Usually it's anywhere from 1200 to 2000 RPMs, depending on the conditions you're riding in. The rear brake can be introduced to help stabilize the bike in the turn. Coming in, apply the rear brake. The brake is engaged. Feed that clutch out. Coming too quickly, apply that brake. Engage that brake, a little bit of drag on that brake, and exit. As I come in, I apply the rear brake gently, not to ups upset the suspension. Brake is on, and the engine is pulling against that rear brake common mistake if you apply the brakes too aggressively and you upset the suspension or if you're not smooth on the throttle and the, the bike lurches it can take you off your line anytime we're going to be turning the bike slowly we need to counterbalance the bike the sharper and slower the turn the more we need to get our weight to the outside of the turn the size of the rider plays a big part in this as well a larger rider might only need to translate their shoulder up to the side whereas a smaller person might need to lean even further. Let's review the correct standing posture. You want to hold the bike from the ankles to the knees. This grip with the lower legs is what allows us to have a loose, comfortable grip on the handlebars and allows them to turn more easily. The body positioning for performing a standing U-turn goes from your neutral riding posture to moving your body weight to the outside and turning all in one smooth movement. As we move our body weight to the outside foot peg, it's important to keep your hips and your shoulders square to the handlebar as you do this. Don't forget to move that head to the outside as well. So my vision is at the far orange cone. As I come in, I lean the bike, next orange cone, exit cone. There's really three parts to every U-turn. You have your entry, you have the mid-turn, and you have the exit. Each component has its own needs for throttle control, for braking, and body positioning. As I'm approaching, I want to scan the area for any hazards. Loose sand, rock, tree roots, anything that's going to really upset the suspension. As I come in, I want to be as far to the outside of the U-turn so I have as much real estate to make the turn. As I'm approaching here, I want to focus my gaze on that back orange cone. And as I come in to about to the midpoint, I can see everything is clear here. Now my vision is at the other orange cone. I initiate stepping on the foot peg, pushing on the handlebars, kneeing the outside of the tank so the bike begins to lean. Right about here this is where the bike is at maximum lean. And now I start looking at the other orange cone as I plan my exit. Here is where we need to increase our throttle feed that friction zone out so the bike can begin to stand up for the exit. So let's see what that looks like in real time. As I approach the U-turn, I'm staring at the back orange cone. I initiate that turn, lean to the outside, all the weights on the outside foot peg. Looking at the back orange cone, step on the inside peg, push the bike over, and let that clutch out. The friction zone, the throttle, the rear brake, the vision, the counterbalance are all individual ingredients that go into the recipe of how to perform the U-turn. How you combine these ingredients vary greatly from rider to rider and the terrain you're riding on. The only way to get proficient is to get out there and practice. So we'll see you out there. 